we are inching closer to the weekend, and Ted, I'm really looking forward to that sun when it arrives. Yeah, it should be a fairly mellow stretch of weather. Quiet, uh, cool sunshine, but uh, about three or four days of uh, some dry weather and a break from the raw winds we've experienced uh, recently. Yesterday we had some gusty winds, but fairly mild weather. We had a nice sun yesterday and uh, reached 46 for high temperature. This morning, believe it or not, we had 45, but it has gotten a lot colder since then. Watching the fog lift, the winds really picking up for the northwest. This is time lapse in this morning. Rain, of course, on the camera lens. A little bit of wet snow. You see these little splotches of uh, snow shower activity falling on the camera lens. That was around 830 until about 10 o'clock this morning. Now, as we look live outside, here is Lake City, our Lewiston Auto Camera, Pearl of the Lake, a drier situation, uh, raw wind, and to see some eagles there in the trees uh, uh, hunker down and, and bracing themselves against those rough northwest winds. Rainfall amounts around the area, some impressive amounts. Rochester, about two thirds of an inch of rain. Mesa City, 58 hundredths of an inch. Some spots at reporting sites, lighter amounts, but we look at some of the specific numbers. Mesa City uh, re uh, actually ended up with uh, 77 hundredths of an inch, the same as Austin. So a significant amount of rainfall there. B uh, Byron, almost an inch, 0.92, and Wabasha, 1.01 inches. Uh, Lake City, I come to speak of Lake City, actually they had eight tenths of an inch. So uh, quite a deluge of rain there around one or two o'clock this morning when most of that rain is falling really heavily for a time. One inch of rain heading into today already. This is not including today's rainfall since midnight in Rochester, but uh, looking at the summary for the month so far, 1.31 would be normal, slightly below average, but the attack on about the half inch or so we've picked up since midnight alone. And now we have maybe a slight surplus for November. I think every other month has had a surplus. We've had the wettest year in history and uh, in Rochester's uh, recorded history. But yes, more of that uh, on its way uh, 35 in Rochester. Now it feels like 23, 23 mile per hour winds. Yes, we've added to that rainfall amount, but now a little drier, but rather chilly 35 in Rochester. Austin 37, it's 36 in Mason City, Winona 36, and there are these winds, pretty powerful stuff. Uh, they'll be pretty uh, gusty in that 30 to 40 mile per hour range until about 5 or 6 this evening, and then slowly uh, drop off, but it'll be after midnight before we really see the winds in what we would consider a calm range, uh, so we're looking at a pretty brutal stretch of uh, some raw, windy weather and some falling temperatures slowly now, not falling as quickly as they were, but we're in the low and mid 30s now. We'll stay there this afternoon, flying to the 20s eventually. Cold sunshine tomorrow, though. Uh, less wind, more sun, not a bad day, just a little cooler than the weather we've had recently. There goes the rain on satellite radar. Still the clouds hanging around the air, but there is some clearing to our northwest. A sharp dividing line between the clouds and the clear skies under that strong high pressure. A lot of sunshine in store, and we'll clear things out later tonight uh, and uh, have some sun tomorrow again. 35 in Rochester to the northwest. Look how much colder it is. Morris, 19, it's 24 in Marshall. You see what's kind of headed our way this afternoon. 30s, then 20s. We see the skies clear quickly right around five or six o'clock. Plenty of starlight tonight, but these brisk winds in the evening hours keep that wind chill in the single digits and teens, but after midnight, they really become much lighter. Here's Futurecast watching that high pressure work its way in from the west. We'll have clear skies for the evening hours. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Light west winds around eight or nine miles per hour. So thankfully, if it's going to be a cool day with 30s, at least it's not a windy day like today. And then heading into tomorrow night, uh, some starlight, and then we'll have some sun, but there's a little disturbance north of us that generates a little more of a breeze. Some uh, gray skies at times. Peaks of sunshine on Saturday. Saturday, but still managing to see some 40s and even some more 40s heading into next week. But down the road, it does get colder. That's not unusual for late November. Those 30s next week, pretty typical for this time of the year, will be very much in that range. A couple days above average, but more often than that, uh, very close to the seasonal average. 34 in Rochester today, Austin 38, Winona 39 with gray skies, raw winds, temperatures steady, if not dropping a little more through the afternoon, uh, gusts to 35 miles per hour. Tonight, clear skies, light winds late, lows around 17. And tomorrow, some light winds, some sun, 36, mostly sunny. Seven day forecast looking at a breezy Saturday, but Sunday looks pretty good. Next week, watch a couple of storm systems that may bring uh, rain and snow potential. We've been watching these uh, right now. It looks like most of that will be south of us, so we're giving them slight chances, but certainly the bear is watching because there have been uh, some indications that that may not be necessarily the case. There, uh, It's still uh, too far, far out to pinpoint that, but we'll be watching that in the coming days. Yeah, those are important travel days. Yeah. In the meantime, the weekend, though, can't wait for that. Yes, looks good. Looks good. Thank